Hello and welcome everyone to this video on Advanced Debugging Techniques by Zarentech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarentech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. So hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use some advanced debugging techniques in our ABAP programming. So see, what is the meaning of advanced debugging techniques? So for that, suppose I want to debug any standard program uh, like uh, BA01, BA01. And if I want to debug a program, what I will do? So for that, you will use slash H. You will see debugging switched on. Now give any order type here and press enter. Debugging will be executed. You will go to debugging mode. Now I have taken a requirement that I have to find a customer function here. That is, I want to find a customer exit. So I will use the syntax call customer function. I want to show you how you can find a particular function or a particular variable using debugging. Click on the breakpoint. Go to breakpoint at breakpoint at statement. Then pass here call customer function and press enter. See, breakpoint has been set. Now simply press execute button. And whenever this particular breakpoint will occur, then whenever this particular statement will occur, call customer function, this breakpoint will stop at that particular line. Simply click on execute button. See, it see directly moved to 322. Click on execute button. Click on execute button. Click on execute button. Click on execute button. It moved to line 26. So this is how you can find any variable in a particular program. And you can see how its value is changing. Uh, just click on debugger if you want to exit it. And click on a close application. So that the debugger can be closed. Now go to SC38. See, I have a program of, I have this particular program for ALV display. And I want to know how the value of the particular variable is changing. So I'll click on execute button. I'll give certain input 1, 2, 10. And I'll click on execute button. Okay, sorry, I haven't put any debugger here. So I'll put slash h first. I'll click on execute. Then I'll put a watch point here. Not debugging directly. Just simply put a debugger here and start up selection. Click on execute. Now I want to know basically that how data is being stored in this particular variable. This is my simple program, but in real world scenario, you will find a lot of complex program. So you need to understand how we can check that how data is being stored in a particular variable or internal table or how data is being changed at the runtime. Click on execute button. Give a particular input here. Suppose I'm giving 1 to 10. Click on execute. Now I'm setting a watch point. So for that, I'll give the variable name here, lt underscore vvak, and I'll click on OK button. So, you can see, watch point has been created. Simply click on execute. See, I clicked on the execute button, but it stopped right after the line of lt underscore vvak. So, this is the how we can use the concept of watch point here, lt underscore vvak. See, the data is, has been stored in my internal table. Also, one important thing is that you can change the name of, you can change the value of any variable at the runtime by clicking on this button. Simply click and you can store any data. And the data has been changed here also. So these are some of the advanced debugging techniques that we can use for our requirement. You can find customer exit by using call customer function in debugging mode. You just need to give slash h here. 
the debugger will be set for any particular program. And always don't forget to remove the debugger. This is all about it. Thank you very much. Thank you.